five of the fantasy football season. And here's a few running backs. I have his sleeper options this week. The first guy, Isaiah Pacheco of the Kansas City Chiefs. So right now, you know, Clyde Edwards Hilaire is the main man over there. But Pacheco, to be honest, this season, when he's gotten at least 10 plus carries, he's looked re- very well and a more physical runner between the tackles than Edwards Hilaire. And a lot of Edwards Hilaire touchdowns and stuff have been fluky some of his game lines. But he's a guy you got to throw out there in your starting lineup any, every week. But right here, Pacheco, week one, we saw him get a big workload, 12 carries, 62 yards and a touchdown. Then weeks two and three, he only had two carries in both ball games. And week four here, Tampa Bay, 11 carries, 63 yards. So right now, I think his role is going to expand a little more. Jared McKinnon, I know he's there, but he's more of a real passing downs back than anything. And Clyde Edwards Hilaire, we know he hasn't been healthy the last few seasons. And right now, I believe Edwards Hilaire start of the season's been a fluke and Pacheco could become the starter towards mid-season or towards the latter part of the season here or even if he goes down with an injury but right now he's got to have on your roster and if you're in a deep pinch this week he's got a decent matchup versus the Raiders that give up the 10th most fantasy points to running backs but he's more of a stash than a guy you want to play this week here is Isaiah Pacheco the next guy's another similar type of role for Rashad White of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so a lot of people said they want to see White hit the field more over here for Tampa Bay and give Fournette a rest because Fournette he's been out there 90% of the snaps and Rashad White I know he's a lot of garbage time and catch up time in that week four ball game versus Kansas City only three carries six yards with a rushing touchdown though but five catches 50 yards and to open the game he had a fumble loss on a kick return so right here if you're in a desperate need of a running back this week versus Atlanta is a pretty decent matchup where Rashad White maybe could get a few drives to himself where he catches a few passes out of the backfield and maybe he could vulture a goal line touchdown but right now he's available still in tons of fantasy leagues at 67 percent and he's a guy that should at least be on your roster as well and if you're in a pinch he's a guy is a flex or a number two running back if you're real desperate possibly you could start this week in the third and final running back I have a sleeper option this week here. Alib Huntley of the Atlanta Falcons. So we know Cordell Patterson, he's out for a while now with a knee injury. Out to probably week nine, week 10 of the season. And now it's going to be Huntley or Tyler Algier, who was obviously the biggest pickup on the wire. But last week, both these guys shared carries. 10 carries, 56 yards, and a touchdown for Huntley. Between these two guys, they shared carries. Algier with 10 him with 10 and Algier with a target. So this week here, very tough matchup at Tampa Bay that gives up the second least amount of fantasy points to running backs. But we just saw Hilaire go for 92 yards rushing, two total touchdowns. And just like Pacheco, I mentioned over five yards of carry in last week's team, going 11 carries, 63 yards versus Tampa Bay. But obviously, I don't think we're going to see that from Huntley. But another guy who possibly could be the starter over here in Atlanta if Algier just doesn't perform more, they could even be splitting. So right now, if you're real desperate for a running back as a sleeper option this week in deeper leagues or whatever the case may be with all these injuries, Huntley is definitely an option to consider and he's available still in 87% of fantasy weeks. That's a few running backs out of his sleepers here for week five of the fantasy football season.